Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to fix Google Play Store error 498 on Android devices. And guys, uh, this error happens when you try to download a large app, it could be you know game or any app, and this issue is related to cache. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple of methods over here, and uh, you can try that out and uh, let's see if you know fixes your issue or not okay so method one we have is uh, you have to clear the cache and data of google play store uh, google play services google services framework and then download manager okay guys and if you don't see you know google services framework and download manager then just leave okay so uh, so in order to do this you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here apps or application manager so i have you know apps just tap on it and here you need to swipe to the right to all tabs over here and just find you know google play store first over here so let me find that here i have google play store just tap on it and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok so you know as you can see that cache is also cleared you just need to go back and find here google play services so here i have just tap on it and then tap on manage space and then tap on clear all data and then tap on ok and you need to go back and find here google services framework so here i have uh, just tap on it and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok and you just need to go back and find here download manager so let me find that okay so here i have download manager just tap on it and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok okay guys so it's now done and after that you need to you know remove your google account and re-add it okay guys and if you have more than one google account associated then you have to remove every account okay so let me show you how you can do that okay okay guys so you just need to go to the settings of your phone and find here accounts so here i have accounts just tap on it and then tap on google and then tap on gmail and then tap on this you know three dots over here and then tap on remove account and then tap on remove account okay guys so as you can see that our google account has been removed and guys you need to add it again okay you can add the same account or a different account if you want okay so just tap on add account and then tap on google as you can see it's checking info just enter your email and then tap on next enter your password and then tap on next uh, just accept the terms of service Uh, just tap on this little drop down arrow link over here and then tap on next as you can see guys our google account has been added okay so after that you need to reboot your phone and go to play store and try to download in it okay so try this you know method one and let's see if you know fixes your issue or not Okay guys, so you tried you know this you know method one and it doesn't fix this your issue. Then you can try this you know method two. Okay, so method two we have is uh, you have to uninstall the updates of Google Play Store if you have it. Okay, so in order to do that you have to go to the settings of your phone and find your apps or application manager. So here I have apps, just tap on it and you have to swipe to the right to all tabs over here and here you need to find the google play store so let me find that here i have 
just tap on it and just tap on uninstall updates and then tap on ok uh, do you want to replace this app with the factory version yes tap on ok and guys you can see that it's uninstalling the updates and it's done and after that you need to you know just go to play store and try to download an app and let's see if you know fixes your issue or not okay guys so uh, you tried you know this method 2 and it doesn't fix this your issue then you can try this you know method 3 okay so in method 3 uh, you have to reboot your device into the recovery mode and you have to wipe cache partition and from advanced you have to wipe the downway cache okay so uh, ways to get into the recovery mode on Samsung I'm gonna you know tell you but if you have other phones that you have to try to find from your manufacturer uh, you know how to get into into the recovery mode uh, they will give you a tutorial for that it's really very simple okay so for you know Samsung phones you have to turn off the device and now you have to press and hold the volume up power and home buttons until you see the Samsung screen now Release the power button but continue to press home and volume up until you are brought to the recovery mode. Okay. And press the volume down key several times to highlight the wipe cache partition. So let me show you. I have one image. Okay. And let me make it big. Okay. So here we have this. Okay. So here we have this you know instruction like volume up or down to move highlight. Okay. And power button to select okay so you have to you know press volume down key several times to you know several times to highlight the wipe cache partition and just use the power button to select and it will you know you know delete the cache partition okay guys so after you know done you you are done deleting you know cache partition so you have to you know wipe the Dalvik Dalvik cache as well okay so uh, this is the you know the same process you have to press the volume down key several times to highlight advance so I have you know one image over here let me show you how you can do that okay so here we have this you know advanced okay so you have to use volume down key several times to highlight this advance and you know power button to select it and you will get this you know menu and just highlight the wipe down with cache and just power button to select it and wipe the down with cache okay and after that you need to reboot your phone and you know try this method you know method you know three i think it's three yes okay and let's see if this you know fixes your issue okay guys so you tried you know this method three and it doesn't fix this your issue uh, then you can try this you know method 4 so I have you know method 4 also uh, try to use another Wi-Fi okay sometimes it could be due to ISP issues if you are you are using 2G 3G or 4G data packs use Wi-Fi or if you are connected to the Wi-Fi then try to use another Wi-Fi network okay and try to install or update okay Okay guys, so you tried this method 4 and it also doesn't fix this here issue. Then you can try method 5 and sometimes Google servers might be the issue. So try to download after some time. Sometimes, okay. So try this method 5 and uh, let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not. Okay. Okay guys, so you tried this method 5 and it also doesn't fix this here issue. Then you have to you know try this method six and you have to factory reset your phone okay but before doing this you have to you know try all these methods so in worst cases you know above if, if you know above methods doesn't work for you then you have to do factory data reset okay so just go to the settings of your phone and find here backup and reset here I have backup and reset just tap on it and guys before doing you know factory data reset make sure you take you know backup of your device okay so just tap on factory data reset 
and here we have this option reset form just tap on it and it will reset your form to the factory version okay so try all these methods and let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not okay guys so that's it for this video thanks for watching and i will catch you in my other tutorials uh, bye bye take care